you can see on the screen the uh, agenda for today. Agenda means the uh, topics that we're going to discuss uh, in today's uh, episode. We're going to start with some fluency development tips. I'm going to tell you why your fluency might not be improving if you feel that <clears throat> you're practicing a lot but you're still getting stuck you um, feel like you're not making enough progress I'm going to give you some tips to overcome that hurdle and then we're going to move on to sentence clause structure which is a um, much requested very popular topic many of you have asked me to do a lesson on simple compound complex and compound complex sentences we'll be doing that uh, and then we're going to do some pronunciation training. I'm going to give you an introduction to word stress and we will do some exercises on that. <clears throat> and finally, uh, I will be answering some of your questions, some of your comments that you have previously left on the community post that I created for this stream. So if you are ready, let's begin. If you're ready, give me a yes in the chat box. All right, so let's begin. This is the question I've got from a lot of you, and in fact, it's a question I've got from many of my students over the years as well. Uh, I study and practice a lot, but I feel that my English speaking fluency is just not improving. Why is that, and what should I do about it? <clears throat> okay, so this is a common problem. Okay, this is a common problem that occurs at the intermediate level. When you're a beginner, you don't have this issue. When you just start learning English, you learn lots of basic words, phrases, you will learn some simple grammar, and everything's coming up roses. That means everything's going well. And then you reach the intermediate level. You're able to have basic conversations quite comfortably, like socializing, asking for directions, uh, discussing school or work matters, and so on. But when you need to have slightly more difficult or advanced conversations, you either start to hesitate a lot, you just can't find the right words to express your thoughts, or you just freeze up completely and find a way to avoid that conversation altogether. But don't worry, you are not alone. Every single English language learner who now speaks good English has experienced that. I personally know that sense of frustration and disappointment that you might be feeling. So here's what you need to do about it. First of all, the biggest enemy of fluency is fear of inaccuracy. That's the fear of making mistakes. Many of my students ask me, and many of you have asked me here on YouTube, how do I know if I'm speaking correctly? I feel like I'm making mistakes all the time. Well, the truth is, you probably are making a lot of mistakes. But let me ask you this, are you making the same number of mistakes as you were making a year ago, two years ago? Are you making as many mistakes as you were making when you started learning English? No, you're not. And that's the truth. Your English has improved over time and it will continue to improve as long as you believe in the process. It is not possible to become 100% accurate overnight. And hey, here's a news flash for you. Everybody, you, me, native speakers, everybody makes mistakes. But for learners, mistakes, errors, reduce over time and with practice. They don't go away by worrying about them. So step number one on your journey to fluency is make it a habit to speak your mind without stressing out about mistakes. But what if people make fun of me for my grammar, vocabulary, or pronunciation. Well, if people make fun of you, you should probably find other people to speak English with. And don't think that you have to stop making mistakes to prove something to those people who laugh at you. Now, if that motivates you, if it makes you pick up a grammar book and work through it cover to cover, then great, more power to you. But you have nothing to prove to people who think they are better than you. People who speak good English today were in the same position that you're in at some point in their development. 
So don't let other people's opinions, laughs, or their insults get you down. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Your path to learning, not just English, your journey to mastery of any subject is about you and not about other people. So forget about other people's opinions. Have confidence in yourself and learn to speak without stress. This will remove a huge barrier to your speaking fluency. Now this doesn't mean that you should just ramble on and on and on as fast as you can string words together. Speed is not the same thing as fluency. So step number two is learn to speak slower. Trying to speak fast or not controlling your speech rate is another common reason that people freeze up a lot of the time. Our brains need time to think. They need time to come up with ideas and to make meaningful sentences out of those ideas. Even if you have the language necessary